1939 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR67 by PCGS. According to NGC, proof sales steadily grew from year to year, and the net mintage for this issue was 8,750 pieces. These were selected from the 11,902 struck, many of which were unfit, and the traditional mintage figure also includes coins destroyed during assays. Four dies each of the obverse and reverse were employed. As in other years, the net mintage of proof quarter dollars determines the number of complete proof sets possible, since this denomination was the one least often ordered. The number of gem survivors rose proportionately with the increasing sales, and this is the first modern proof quarter for which a generous population of PF67 coins exists. This PR67 specimen was sold for $432. Number 7. 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. The highly sought-after Superbird variety. According to Jamie Hernandez, in 1952 there were not that many channels to watch, so most people who owned a TV were very familiar with the very popular Superman TV show. It is strongly believed that a Mint employee, who was probably also a big fan of Superman himself, deliberately struck an S-Mint mark on the reverse die of a 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. Consequently, all 1952 proof quarters struck from this die also contain the S mint mark on the eagle's chest. Because of the prominent S mint mark located on the eagle's chest, this popular variety is now widely recognized as the Superbird variety. This specimen fetched a sum of $1,840 at auction. Number 6. Here is 1934 Washington quarter with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a fully frosted, virtually brilliant example with a bold to sharp strike throughout. The 1934 double die obverse ranks as one of the most spectacular mint errors of the 20th century. Although it is many multiples rarer than the 1955 double die obverse scent, it often commands lower premiums, placing it within the reach of many Washington Quarter specialists. Five as in Stanton estimate a population of just between 251 and 500 examples. It was sold for $7,800. Number 5. Vividly toned 1951 D. Washington Quarter in Mint State 68. According to Stax Bowers, this otherwise brilliant example exhibits blushes of intense orange copper iridescence at the right reverse border and, especially, over the right third of the obverse. A wisp or two of color extends toward the left border on the former side. Silky smooth surfaces are frosty and sharply struck throughout with extraordinary quality and eye appeal. It was sold for $8,400. Number 4. 1957 D. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. This enchanting piece is vividly toned with the boldest, most impressive colors lining the left obverse and reverse borders. Fully frosted throughout with smartly impressed design elements and essentially pristine surfaces. A truly delightful and awesome condition rarity from this high-mintage Denver issue with 77,924,160 coins struck. This superb gem ended up selling for $11,400. Number 3. 1948 S. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this is an outstanding example of the otherwise readily available 1948 S. Quarter. The reverse is brilliant apart from subtle pastel peripheral highlights, while the obverse is vividly toned with halos of multicolored iridescence around the border. The surfaces are lustrous, silky smooth and virtually pristine. The strike is full, enhancing this quarter's superior technical quality and awesome eye appeal. It was sold for $15,600. Number 2. 1936 S. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. Dusted with antique silver tinting, this delectable superb gem also exhibits a crescent of rich reddish russet iridescence along the left obverse border. Frosty surfaces are sharply struck and approach perfection. This kind of superior quality and eye appeal would be rare even on a later date Washington Quarter. To have it on an example of a semi-key date San Francisco mint issue from the 1930s is truly remarkable. It was sold for $31,200. Number 3. 1. And here is famous 1932 S. Washington Quarter graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. Wisps of iridescent pinkish copper and cobalt blue toning enhance the frosty mint luster on both sides of this appealing gem. 
sharply struck and exceptionally well preserved for an issue that is scarce even at the MS-65 grade level. The three 1932 dated issues of the new Washington design type are the only quarters produced by the United States Mint from 1931 through 1933. The Great Depression served to limit coinage of many denominations during the early to mid-1930s, and the quarter was no exception. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series, and it is the rarest issue of its type in gem mint state after only the 1932D. This true rarity fetched a sum of $43,200. That wraps up today's episode. For watching more captivating numismatic videos please visit the main page of our channel where you can find many coin-related playlists. And don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons. Take care.